All right, Chris L. Davis of AutomationBridge.com. And in this video, I want to show you really briefly just a quick overview on how to create a web form with JotForm. JotForm is a cloud based uh, form builder for creating web forms like contact forms or intake forms or any form that you can imagine, really, JotForm can handle it. And the beauty is you can get started free for you can get started with JotForm for free or they have their paid plans that give you a little more bang for your buck and they're not they're they're relatively inexpensive so when you go to JotForm this is more than likely the first page that you'll see unless you're logged in and you already have an account and the beauty of JotForm is it allows you to get started right away right when you land on the page so when you close out of that the default is going to look like a blank white canvas and I just want to go over some of these tools really quick just so you have an idea how to build a form um, this is a heading tool if you want to give your form a title alright and then if you click on this subheading you can give it a brief description and that will be placed right under the title okay um, the text is any basic text that you would like to enter in uh, so you can just put it here just some basic text if you need more description uh, for uh, helping people understand exactly what to do maybe you need to give them direction text box is a single line text input this is good for like name or very short questions that you uh, just need like a sentence answer for and text areas are for those areas that may take a little bit more description right a little bit uh, a more text for the answer please elaborate right and then you have your drop down how the drop downs work is that as you see you have option one two and three and these are actually controlled you click this this little link right here and it'll bring it up here so you can change this to anything okay it's gonna treat a new line as a new option alright so you you enter that in hit OK and watch this there you go so those are your options and you just double click on that to uh, change the text and a radio button those are like yes or no answers right and those you just double click yes no okay and to get rid of an option that you don't need you just click on it and click the minus sign alright and then check boxes work the same exact way select all that apply and you can add or subtract as many of these as you want to right so like I said if, if I wanted to add another option I just click here add a new option uh, hit enter and there you go so that's how you create a basic form in job form you can use any of these I advise you to explore as you see you can add an image you can add a file upload box if you go into the quick tools you have things like full names so if I drag this over it's gonna ask for the first and last name there and I can easily get rid of this by just hitting the X so that's how you get rid of a field but then you have email address address and the nice thing about this address is if I drag it down look at that it's got all the fields already pre -form formatted for me uh, time date birth I mean the the list goes on and on but what I wanted to do in this video is just give you a quick overview on exactly how to create it everything is drag and drop so if I wanted to put the full name above that I just drag it and drop it right above it if I want to delete something maybe I don't want this description because I have the description on my website just hit the X hover over it select it hit X um, it doesn't get any more harder than that uh, in job form one thing you'll want to look out for is select the field and you want to make sure the most important information is required and you do that just by clicking and hit required click required um, that's it that's how to get started building your first web form in job form you can build these as elaborate as you want to or as basic but this is the fundamental way and how to create 
uh, these forms that you can later embed into your website and receive information from your visitors.